A spell of measures to nip the increase in cases of mental health in the bud. Stakeholders have made a renewed call for mental health to be included into the primary school curriculum in the country. And now this was re-echoed at the year 2023 Suicide Research and Prevention Initiative of Nigeria, Serpin. The conference with a the theme uh, sharing experiences and it was held here in Lagos. Our correspondent Love Oyedokun tells us more in this report. Seated are health experts and members of the Suicide Research and Prevention Initiative, SOPIM. They are here to deliberate on mental health issues and how its negative consequences can be dealt with. They argued that mental health is as important as the physical. As we're focused on the physical, let's also focus on the mental. And it's important to start from when they're in primary school because a lot of these problems that we see stem from some childhood adversity. There are a lot of times that some people with mental illnesses start early in their childhood. It may even start in their teens, you know. So it's important that we start letting them know that it's okay for you to... Um, for you to experience certain emotions, but it doesn't mean that you have to hide those emotions. What you need to do is ask for help if you're going through certain things. There's no shame in it. Everybody goes through it. Just ask for help. Shopim strongly believes that parents have limitless roles to play in the early detection of mental health and suicide tendencies in children. They also want the society to stop stigmatizing against people who suffer from mental illnesses, but rather show empathy and love. The parents need to begin to equip their children from a young age. So parenting has a very major role. The other thing that we see is the issue of resilience. You know, so parents need to be deliberate, you know, in bringing up children. It's also important for parents to be observant. You need to be very observant, you know, so that at the, any point in time when they notice something that is untoward about their children, they notice changes in behavior, you know, changes in their countenance, changes in mood, they can become more observant and if there's a need, they can ask, reach out. People with a diagnosis of chronic health problem, you know, that it might be cancer, it might be HIV, it might be something they feel it's overwhelming and it's taking over their lives. And we also have a lot of students who call because of school pressure, academic pressure. And, you know, so the reality is it's, um, it, it, it's wide open. There's so many people that are going through challenges that may make them suddenly impulsively, you know, take a decision, a rash decision of attempting to take their lives that if they do survive, they would say that it was at that point in time I just felt as if there was no hope. The program was both educative and expository as people who had attempted suicide as a result of mental health issues share personal experiences. In my own case, I made a conscious effort not to let it affect me by speaking up on my own issues. So I'm one of those people that recover loudly. I don't let my challenges to affect me. As a matter of fact, if I see you on the street, I start talking to you about it. I say, do you know that I suffered from this? So before you even stigmatize me, I've already talked about what I was going through. Express all this lack of interest in things that I really enjoy doing. Anger, anger that if I see the person I'm actually angry with them, I probably Mental health is a state of mental well-being that enables people to cope with the stresses of life. It is also an integral component of health that underpins individual and collective abilities to make decisions. The Suicide Research and Prevention Initiative of Nigeria, SOPIM, believes that suicide as a fallout of mental health can be avoided if the society embraces the sufferer. Love Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.